latest on Cyclone Hika, which has been intensifying substantially over the course of the overnight hours, is now a Category 2 on the Sappho Simpson scale, with winds of 100 miles per hour and a pressure of 980 millibars at 6 a.m. Gulf Standard Time, September 24th. We're still looking at Dukeum for a possible landfall zone this September 24th. Stage 2 on the CDPS, the biggest threat now is wind with still 2 inches of rain also expected. It could still also strike Masira Island just offshore there as well. Here it is right now, very small wind field considering its intensity, 20.1 north, 60.9 degrees east. Um, and as I said a category 2 moving west. It's 135 miles from Azira right now, 216 from Dekium, 221 from Raz Madrakar, 303 from Haima inland and 319 from Lakbi further south. The storm is moving at about 14 miles per hour so at this rate extrapolated it could reach Masira Island in less than 10 hours. Here's a look right now, cyclone warning in effect issued by us here uh, for large tracts of the coastline there extending down further south. Expected rainfall accumulations then looking over the next few days, we only need the first part of this loop really to see what's going on. Um, interesting to point out over the India region, very wet over the next seven days, but where the storm's tracking, we're really only looking at two, maybe towards three inches of rain for exposed coastal areas of the coast. Looks like the track will fall just south of Masira Island and then move inland further towards the west. Um, I don't think for sure that there's going to be any populated areas that will get the worst effects of the storm. Of course, it's a sparsely populated area and it's a very tiny tropical cyclone. Uh, but if it did strike, make landfall in the populated zone, it could have large consequences. Temperatures uh, 25 to 26 degrees Celsius, they will drop off a little bit just as it reaches land. So that might start to kill it off just a little bit in advance of a landfall, which of course will really get into the storm. Obviously the Saudi Arabian desert ahead of Cyclone Hika, once it moves inland, it will completely die off very quickly indeed. You'll see the uh, tropical storm force winds die away. And as a result, not really much to see on this graphic as we progress through the week, because by then the storm will be long gone by Wednesday, Thursday at the very latest. So here is the chances of tropical storm force winds, 90% now in Masira, uh, that's the whole island, so the southern tip included, 60% at Dukiam, 45% at Razmadrakar, 50% at Haima inland and 10% in Lakbi. These are what the models are saying, they've really not caught up on this at all and you can see there that is a model run from 18Z well behind and the storm has far exceeded. Um, what those models have expected. Wind shear remains fairly, no, fairly low up until landfall, sea surface temperatures still okay, will really start to drop soon. And relative humidity, that's to say, it's pretty poor. Um, but there is the track forecast, pretty clear cut into where it's going to go. And this is the satellite imagery over the last 12 hours. Um, the progression of the storm, pretty much the whole overnight hours we're looking at on the screen here. So it's moved a fair distance in that time. Again, you really get a gravity of just how small this storm is. Um, the eye is around 10 miles wide and the main convection area extends around maybe 50 miles in all directions. The wind field somewhere near that amount as well, 40 to 50 miles in all directions. The storm could still make landfall on, on Mazira, so we're watching out for that very closely as we enter the daytime hours. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.